please help me welcome Paul Lynette. came about when I was having a conversation during a club officer training session. And one of the people in the room said in front of everyone there, I don't care about the points. Who cares about the points? Just like Christina said, I come to this club to have fun. I don't care about points. And it really got my back up. Because we can't have a successful club without a way to measure what success is. This is just simply a way of measuring success. Are you doing these things? These things equal a healthy club. But what they really are, for most of us, is like a gold star. And who doesn't love a gold star? <laughs> right as a kid, you'd have a gold star. I do adult education. I teach people like you every day. And I have for the last 30 years. And it's funny, but when I have a student say or do something particularly well, I say, Doug, you get a gold star. And Doug's face lights up. <laughs> it's, I'm not actually giving Doug a gold star. I don't have gold stars that I hand out. But the mere thought that somebody recognized that I did something pretty cool and is willing to congratulate him on that, that makes a difference. So these points, think of them like our little gold star, but they are an indicator of what our club is doing and what our club is doing well. Now how do we get that star? How do we get that one little tiny DCP point? Well, we're going to look at this in the Pathways program because that's kind of where we are now. For those of you that haven't seen the extended version of this discussion, there is a webinar on D42 under that tag and it's all about and it's called it's not about the point so you can get a little bit more detail and then that one goes more into the legacy program it's a bit of an older version uh, so we're going to look just strictly at pathways now how do we get a pathways level one what's our first speech the ice cream okay what's our second speech or series of speeches do a speech repeat the speech right yeah and then we have our research your topic, right? And then we have to evaluate, oops, I went too fast. We have to evaluate another person. So essentially, we're kind of doing five speeches there, are we not? Yes. Yeah. The icebreaker, the do a speech, repeat the speech, research, and evaluate someone else as a mini speech. So that's what a member needs to do. But what I want to focus on is what's the outcome of that member doing those five projects. What effect does that have on the club as a whole? Well, when that club member does that icebreaker speech or any one of those speeches, what happens is you have 20 people who've had the opportunity to evaluate. Because really, to get that point, we need four level ones, right? So take everything that we're talking about, multiply it by four. So five speeches times four people doing the pathways level one, getting us one point. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I don't do math very well, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Four people getting a level one gets the club one DCP point. So four people doing those speeches means that 20 people have the opportunity to construct and craft their own mini speech their evaluation of that person, which as we all know, that is a, an incredible skill to have and to learn the power to evaluate someone and give positive feedback and constructive feedback and do it in a way that helps someone else grow. So these 20 people have had the opportunity to help someone else grow. 20 people have been timers. So pff, what's a timer? Who cares about that? That timer role is multitasking. It's understanding the importance of time. It's being able to pay attention to two things at the same time. To be able to, again, give maybe some constructive feedback about how that person did in, when they did that speech in their time. 20 people got to introduce those speakers, whether it was the speaker themselves, the evaluator, somebody, that Toastmaster at that meeting, got that opportunity to stand up there and hopefully ahead of the meeting, craft an introduction. Hey, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Answer this question for me. And actually giving many, many speeches.
speech, in doing that proper introduction of that speaker. 20 people got to sit and listen to that speech and give feedback on how they spoke, the choice of words that they made, their ability to weave in the word of the day into their speech, their filler words, and help them grow as a speaker by taking out some of the bad parts of our speech and keeping in the good. And then overall, we've had those general evaluators in those meetings who've had that opportunity by virtue of someone standing up at the front of that room and giving those speeches and evaluations the opportunity to say, this was done really well, this could have been done better, and really think constructively about how to make not only that person better, but the club as a whole better. And then over and above even that, what else happened? Every single one of those audience members had the opportunity to sit in that club and learn and listen. Whether or not they were any part of that team that did any of that work, it doesn't matter. How many of you here have sat in a meeting listen to one, two, three, or four speeches over the course of that meeting and learn something new. There isn't a meeting I've gone to where I haven't learned something new. I've learned about sales, I've learned about mental health, I've learned about personalities, I've learned about organization, I've learned about goal setting, I've learned about different countries, I've learned about cultures, I've learned about everything. For the low, low price of, <laughs> we do all of this, we put all this together, and, and then to have someone say, yeah, I don't care about the points. But how did you get the point? You got the point because this happened. It isn't about the point. It's about what that point represents. Without this, we don't get a point. <clears throat> Without the point, we didn't get this. It is all about this cyclical idea of when I succeed, my club succeeds, and then when my club succeeds, I succeed. I can't succeed in a bad club, right? If we have a dead and dying club with two or three people showing up, how can I succeed? How can my club succeed if I'm not there showing up and giving these speeches and evaluations and everything that goes along with it. You cannot have one without the other, and when one feeds into the other, then the points just show up organically. They, they're just there, but you have to have all of those steps coming together, one after the other, and when I succeed, my club succeeds. When my club succeeds, I will be a much better Toastmaster, a much better trainer, a much better parent, a much better person. Hand it back to Christine.